Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Keurig just released a brand new Keurig called the Keurig K-Iced Essentials. It's only sold at Walmart and it retails for $79. So this looks just like the Keurig K-Express at Walmart, except we've got this over ice button. So when we press this button, it brews six ounces through a coffee K-Cup to give us an over ice. We can brew a six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce hot coffee. And it comes with this tumbler. This is a really nice Keurig tumbler with the symbol on it. Up top, this is where we're gonna put the K-Cup. It's got a single needle on the bottom and a single needle on the top. It's got a 36 ounce reservoir on the side that is removable, and we can install a tall handle water filter if we'd like. But you do not need it to operate the machine. So anytime I get a brand new Keurig, I do like to fill the water tank up and then set the tank on and off about five or six times. I call it priming the Keurig. So I am gonna be using the Dunkin' Cold K-Cup, but you can use any coffee K-Cup for an iced coffee. Now this is a really nice tumbler, comes with it. It holds 16 ounces. I like that the lid screws on, there is an O-ring, and it's got a really nice straw. It is top rack dishwasher safe and BPA free. But the best part it is, that's the Keurig logo that I have not seen on a tumbler yet. So this is the first time we've been able to get the Keurig a tumbler. Okay, so you're gonna fill the tumbler up full of ice. We're gonna put a coffee cake up in there and press the over ice button. It's very simple to use. Just put the cake up in there any old way. When you uh, put this down, it'll poke a hole in the top and the bottom at the same time. Okay, so we simply just press the over ice button. That's gonna brew six ounces through that coffee cake up at a lower temperature. It's still really hot when it comes out, but it's at a 20 degree lower temperature. We also have a six ounce hot coffee. So you may be asking, but what's the difference? This one brews six ounces and so does the over ice. Well, the six ounce coffee, you end up with about 170 degree cup of coffee. When you do over ice, you end up with about 150 degree coffee. So you get less ice melt. So that six ounces is gonna be really concentrated and hot and it's gonna melt that ice and you're gonna have the proper dilution. It's also a little bit slower brew. When you do the over ice, it takes about a minute and 15 seconds. Again, that coffee, it, it ramps up to about 190, but then it ramps down pretty quick. Okay, so it's a really fast coffee maker. There's our over ice. Okay, so at this point, I'm not gonna be able to add too much more ice because I gotta save room for the milk and the, and the syrup, but we end up with a pretty refreshing iced coffee around. I like to get it under 40 degrees, and that did the trick. Now that's still really strong and bitter coffee taste to me, but if I add some French vanilla, about two tablespoons, which with this pump is about six pumps. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way with milk, which is about six, maybe four to six ounces. Yeah, it's just a really cool tumbler. Okay, so let's take the lid. Let's stir the lid on a little bit. Give it a stir. And let's give it a taste test. Okay, that's a really good tasting iced coffee. It's a little bit strong. Uh, I would have liked to have been able to add just a little bit more milk to that. But that is a really good tasting iced coffee. You can still taste the coffee a little bit, and there's just a little bit of a bitterness to it. Adding more syrup and the, the milk is going to help take that away. But with this size tumbler, you just don't, aren't allowed to add too much more milk to it. Okay, let's go up here, take our cake up out. You can see it poked a hole in the top and the bottom. Now, coffee K-cups only hold two tablespoons of coffee. Now, for me, eight ounces is just the right amount, so put that in there. I'm gonna brew a hot coffee. I could brew six ounces or 10 ounces, whatever flavor you'd like, but I'm gonna do straight eight ounces. It's a very fast coffee maker. It makes a really nice hot cup of coffee. So it's gonna ramp that temperature up really quick. We're at 183 and ramping up. Almost to 200.
Okay, so at the end it will shoot a little gush of air through the K-cup to get all the coffee out. And we end up with a really hot cup of coffee. 165. The coffee does taste really good. Now, if you want a little bit stronger coffee, you could do the six ounces. If you want a little bit weaker, you could do the 10 ounces. And let's open this up. There's the coffee K-cup. It does come with this removable drip tray. We can install a little bit taller tumbler in there, probably about seven inches. Now we do have an add water light and a descale light. So the descale light is going to come on after 250 brews. It doesn't really check how clean or dirty the coffee maker is on the inside. It's just counting how many brews. And in order to get that light to go out, we do have to put it into a special descale mode. Now it does come with a nice manual and the manual does tell us how to do the descaling procedure. I'm going to do a separate video and show you how to descale it with vinegar or the Keurig descaling solution. Now if you live at a high elevation and your coffee is not as hot and you're getting a bunch of steam, you can put this into high altitude mode. I'm going to do a separate video on that also. Now after five minutes, there is no power button. After five minutes, this coffee maker will just turn off. To activate it, you can press a button or just lift this up and that's what turns it on. There is no warm-up period for this, so as soon as you lift the lid, press a button, it will start brewing coffee, and you can brew one right after another. So the coffee maker is 1,520 watts. I will be doing a comparison with the... Keurig also has a K-Iced. This is the K-Iced Essentials, and it says it's only sold at Walmart. But I will be doing a comparison with it and the Keurig K-Essentials, the K-Express Essentials. So for me, I would have liked to have seen that over ice. I would have liked to have been able to select like over ice six, over ice eight, over ice 10, and then it just brew like three ounces, four ounces, or five ounces. But you only get one option with this coffee maker. You can only press that button and it's six ounces through a coffee K cup. Now, again, the six ounces is a little bit too much for me. With this tumbler, um, I could add a little bit more ice and more milk in a different tumbler and it would taste better. But again, for me, four ounces through a coffee K-cup is just the right amount for an iced coffee. That's a really concentrated coffee. And then the ice dilutes it, and then you add the milk, and it tastes really good. And I had to do some testing. Again, both the six ounce hot and the six ounce, this ice button, both brew six ounces. And I'm going to show you that they do brew at a different temperature. It was hard to see with the thermometer, but at the end, when it's all done, you'll see that it melts less ice. So let's do the six ounce hot coffee first, and then we'll do the six ounce over ice. Yeah, now this will be really hot the entire time it's coming out. A lot of times when they've got these over iced, it's just a smaller quantity of coffee. But with this one, it's still six ounces, same as the hot. It's just, and you end up with about a 20 degree difference as far as the amount of coffee. All right. That one's done. Now let's do the over ice. And it is a little bit slower brew. When you do the coffee, it takes 51 minutes when you do the over ice it takes a minute and 15 seconds so you can see the water is coming out a little bit slower It doesn't look like a whole lot less. I was expecting it to be a little bit more ice than this. You know, about 50 degrees over here. About 47, 50 almost too. So it looks like we're getting a little bit less ice milk but when I brewed them into a coffee mug, 
I ended up with a 20 degree different um, cooler with the over ice than with hot coffee. Now the model they're giving this one, they're calling it the K25F. And they're even starting to put this only at Walmart symbol on there. And the only real information they're giving us for the brew over ice is that it brews hotter than extracts more flavor than cooling down for less ice melt. But I really do like this tumbler. This is a really nice tumbler. So I suspect they will start keeping this in stock at Walmart. I had to buy this off of line, offline because it's so new. Right now it's only got the, it comes in the color gray. I, I don't know if it's going to come in any different colors or not. I am a Walmart affiliate, so underneath the video, if you see the word see more, I will put a link to Walmart. If you end up buying it off of Walmart, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a commission from the sale. I bought this coffee maker with my own money. I was not paid for this video. So underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my own, my YouTube channel. Yeah, it's just going to come down to, I really, there's, there's better over iced coffee makers out there. I was really hoping to see that just brew a little bit smaller quantity of over ice. Now the over ice, the, the Keurig K iced coffee maker does, and it's, a, I'll be doing a comparison with it. So if you could please like, and subscribe and thanks everybody for watching. So Miss Fiona is sacked out. She did not even want to get up to come in and get a treat.